cheese. Cheese. Queso. And then, <laughs> like that. Perfect, thank you. Hello, Wepa. My name is Noah Godfrey. I'm here with Deria Marara, and we're here to discuss about her single and her performance here tonight at Lula Lounge. Deria, how are Hi, you? good, how are you? I'm okay. I'm uh, Traffic was crazy today. I, I know. know. <laughs> so crazy, but it's hot outside. That's probably why traffic was crazy, to be honest. That's probably why everyone's like, let's <laughs> everyone's go to the going beach! Everywhere. You know? Get me out of my office. Thank God. But um, anyway, so we're here tonight. Yes. For your performance. Yes. How are you feeling about this? I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I've been waiting a while for this one. And I love Lula. Lula's like home for me. And so, can't wait. Can't wait to show you the new stuff. Love it. So, you know, you've been an artist for a while now. My whole life. My whole life, exactly. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so you've been a professional your yeah. whole life. Well, I mean, I started like I started training when I was a little girl, like when I was three. Yeah. But I'd say that I became a professional at eight. It was the first time I got paid to perform. Mm -hmm. So since then, since eight years old, yeah. From yeah. eight to present. Yeah. <laughs> Five years ago. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Where? What would you say were the challenges you faced? Okay. So. As much as I'd like to say being a female in the industry is not a thing, it is a thing. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you get the you know male female thing happen every now and again, but it's not crazy. Yeah. It's just something that is kind of there, but it's not with everybody, obviously. Um, I get some crazy things happen to me, like some bad like uh, juju, like uh, mala suerte kind of thing, yeah. sometimes. But I feel like there's so much good that happens. You always have to kind of yin-yang it like there's always going to be a bad so the bad sometimes is minimal but it's kind of like you have to feel this to feel this so it happens like you can't always be feeling good and positive you need to have those i guess setbacks outside to yeah. pick yourself up even more. it also it also i think makes you appreciate mm -hmm. the good stuff more because you know you know all men to that <laughs> so yeah there's lots of things there's so many to talk about i don't I think i could really pinpoint one specific story but in general you know those are those are obstacles that you know sometimes you come across as an artist and I'm a singer and I'm a dancer and I'm an athlete so I have like three different and choreography I guess is lumped into dance but you, you, in different industries a little bit different but as a musical artist sometimes you deal with ego <laughs> you know tell, tell me about it <laughs> so well, you know speaking of all these setbacks and challenges let's talk about Tell me a little bit about your song with uh, Chuck Bear and Alonso and uh, just how, how it went. Like. So, a couple of um, years ago, well actually more than a few years ago, I had this idea of doing a Mediterranean kind of fusion song with a lot of languages. Uh, Spanish, Italian, yeah, Portuguese. I do. So Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, Greek, Arabic, French. Actually in the original, there's actually some Farsi in there as well. But um, in the version that we do now, which Alonzo heard it at a listening party, and he was my producer like way back when. Yeah, yeah. And we hadn't, I moved to LA. I was living in LA for 12 years. So when I came back, we bumped into each other in a parking lot. And it's not like we, had bad blood or anything, just we kind of lost touch after many years. Yep. And he heard my song, he heard my whole album, and he was like, there's something about this song. So he redid the beat, and because mm. I did it a little bit ethnic, like I had like lots of congas, I had uh, buzuki, a Greek guitar, mm -hmm. um, I had an accordion kind of having that um, almost kuduru sound in there, yep. and um, he made it like a pop dance version, and he's like, you know what, I think we need someone like, an urban artist to kind of change the, the vibe a little bit and put that spice on there. Mm -hmm. And we thought about it for a while and I met Chuck Lear at my other studio where I record. I met him on the, he was sitting on the couch one day and I was like, Chuck Lear's here, what's up? And then we became friends, but like not like cool, cool friends, but just like, yo, what's up, how you doing? And he was like kind of in the ambiente, he was in the circles and like the, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then Alonzo was like, why don't we talk to Chuck Lear? And I was like, Good idea. So we did that, came together, and now the song is taken other, taken on another level. I think now it's like more commercial, but it still keeps. The la I kept most of the languages in there. I was gonna say I, I, I was listening it today, and I was like, I vibe with this. Yeah, and right. I can hear. I hear the different languages, and I'm like, okay. But it's but it's something that you could like. It's languages like Bon Voyage. Everybody knows a Bon Voyage. We live in Canada, right? So French, and like I, I tried to keep words that people would recognize. Like in Arabic, I say Yalla. 
yeah. you know, and Habibi Hayati and stuff like that. So I wanted people to be able to understand. And then also people when they're in the crowd, like tonight there's going to be all kinds of different people. I want them to go, oh, that's my language. Oh, that's my language. You know, like, like I want everyone, exactly. unity, inclusivity type thing. I didn't do every language in the world, but I did languages that are, are in my, yeah, <laughs> are in my background and are cultures that are my background or in my surroundings. And here we are. So speaking of which, you know, the languages, the background, how did you approach the songwriting process of this, of your song? Well, um, I started playing around with the hook. Yeah. Oppa, ole, yeah. right? And my musical partner at that time, who I was doing a lot of music with, Ben Anthony Lavoz, we all know Ben Anthony. Um, he was kind of like listening in. He was like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I want to do this thing. And I told him about it before, but we got actually didn't really sit down with it. Yeah. And then he kind of gave me a couple of ideas. And then he actually sang on the original. He's, his voice is in the backgrounds of that um, version. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can hear him. You can hear him Even in some now. of the... No, no, not oh, in this okay, one, right. but in the other one. Because yeah. I re-sang it for this version because um, Alonzo wanted a little bit different a dynamic and I took out some of the languages yeah. to keep it uh, kind of a little bit... Yeah, a little yeah. bit. You know, it's, it, just, it just kind of morphed into that. Yeah. But then I went to my producer at that time, um, TJ Habibi, who's still my vocal producer now, and I sat down with him and I said, what do you think? Can you, if I tell you what's playing in my head, can you play that for me? Because I'm not, like, I can, I can play a little, like musician stuff, like I can play piano on a little bit, but I had all these sounds in my head and I didn't know how I was gonna make it come out. Yeah. And so I sat down with him and I was like, I want this sound, I want this, I want a bouzouki, I want, because I, I have a Greek, like my grandfather, and I was like, I want to play homage to him. And uh, you know, like do the Spaniard, the, the flamenco. I wanted a little bit of everything. True to kind of, essence, right? You know what I'm saying? Everything. <laughs> everything. And so I was like, hey, play that, and play that, and play that. And then little by little, it just started to come together. And the opa ole just kept on going. And then ale aywa, aywa yeah. is Arabic, ale yeah. French, right? Ciao bello, Italiano. And actually, Portuguese is not in this final version, but it was in the original. So Portuguese and Farsi are missing from this one. But still, we, we hit we hit enough of the Mediterranean, I think, to, to get everybody going. Yeah. And I wasn't trying to be like, oh, it has to be Mediterranean only. No, it just kind of morphed into that. And yeah. now it's a little bit more international. Now that Chuck, Lair, Chuck Lair's in it, um, he's doing, he said he says like Cancun and, and Whistler. He, he brings Canada in yeah. there. So I feel like we... I was gonna make up a word, mundial de. <laughs> Spanglish. You know, we, we made it more Canada. world. Yeah, yeah, it. This is what it is. Listen, <laughs> Toronto, you know this. Most multi I'm looking at that camera. That camera. Hey, anyway. The most multicultural city in the world is Toronto. I've yeah. lived in a lot of places, and yeah. LA is multicultural and all that, but nothing is like Toronto. And so I represent so many like people and cultures, and I want everyone to feel like we're all one. We're all under the Canadian umbrella. But we all have our diversity. And I do feel like that's also like a Latino thing. Like, we're. Yes. Uh, you're Latino, but you're like diverse Latino. Like, you're like this and this and that, which you are. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. And then, you know, the rest of the. Latino yeah, we all have our different answers. I have some yeah. crazy things in my ancestry, Trust right? Me. So, yeah, I just wanted to include everybody. In it, and so people can be like on the dance floor and be like, yeah, my language is there too, you know? Yeah, exactly. I love it. Yeah. Continuing on there, tell me the, how the collaboration between you and Chocolair came. So I know you were, telling, you were saying earlier about Lonzo, say you need some bourbon, and you asked Chocolair, but tell me like when you started actually creating the song and, you know, talking about it, whatever. How... That's the funny part is that we completed the song. Yeah. And then we're like, hmm. So we added Chocolair, we played it for him, and he loved it. And you know, the funny thing is that his daughter was listening with him, and yeah. he was like, she was like, Dad, I like that. I like the a softer sound, like not so hardcore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, I'm digging it too. So he wrote his part like this, and it just kind of, it kind of just, just flowed. It just flowed, yeah, it just totally worked. You see, international is where I want to go. With you, you're my princess. And now it's it's taken on another shape, and I'm really I'm really happy I'm really happy about it. I was saying of the techno remix, and the, that's number 17. We also did a mashup that probably won't go out outside of Canada, okay. but this particular mashup is Let's Ride, a Chaclair song okay. with Bon Voyage, and it's a mashup like that. So it'll probably be around like some with some of the DJs around the city in that. Wow. Can't wait to hear it. Yeah. Um, so I understand, you know, your dancers are here. You're about to get prepared for rehearsals and whatnot. So I got one more question. Of course. 
as you know, as you know, of course, uh, you're performing tonight in a couple hours. How do you prepare for a live performance? Oh, like, good you, question. How do you get into mindset and, the, and, and whatnot? Like, Sometimes my life is a little frazz, a little bit frazzled, so I have a lot of things going on at once, and um, I don't always get to do things the way I want. Although I do have like my my kind of ritual, I usually try and at this point in my life try and like not do much else in that day. Um, today is only one song, so it's not a crazy, crazy uh, show where like all the dancers and all like I, there's so much stuff, right? But it's lighter, mm -hmm. but because it's such an impactful night, we have to make sure it's on point. Yeah. So I have pilots and flight attendants with me, like my performers, um, on the stage, so we can kind of play on that bon voyage thing. We are. I am a former gymnast, and my my students that are former gymnasts of mine, they're now 18 and getting into the professional dance thing. We are going to do a, a gymnastics little tiny thing at the beginning i'll just give you that much okay. and um, the dancing is actually a little bit more chill than what i'm known for it's um it's very diverse and you're going to see all the different languages the culture the dance that goes with it Sorry. however it's a little bit more low key than i'm normally like whipping my hair around i'm going to keep it a little bit more chill today because there's more stuff to come and you'll have to come out and see us live again right <laughs> you heard it here first web but yeah. uh, don't worry it's after the performance so you can see everything about her yeah Wow. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Amazing. Honestly, thank you so much for doing this uh, interview with us. Wepa, thanks you. Wepa is the future. Okay, el futuro. Wepa. Wepa, Wepa. You know I sing your name in my song. You do. You give us give a shout out. What up? <laughs> I love it. But thanks again, Teria, for everything. I appreciate it. I can't wait for the performance. And everyone, go listen to our new song, Bon Voyage. It's out on, well, every streaming platform. Yeah. Alright, peace. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we'll zoom in a bit.